When should one go for a kidney transplant? What is usually the success rate of kidney transplant? So kidney failure means the when the function of the kidney has down to less than 15% and it is not reversible. So there are two types as I mentioned one was the acute kidney injury. So when there is a kidney dysfunction or kidney failure occurs suddenly because of infection or blood loss or some other acute condition and which you most of the time it recovers and you need a dialysis for a short period of time. The other type of the kidney disease, chronic kidney disease where there is a slow deterioration of kidney function. And when there is slow deterioration and kidney function is less than 15% and there are no reversibility, then you need a kidney transplant or dialysis. Usually there are two types of transplant. One is the transplant that we know that kidney function is now 15% or 10% but the person is not symptomatic. So we can directly go for the kidney transplant without the dialysis which is uh, we do in about 20% about of the cases if the patient come to us on time we do this type of the transplant which is called preemptive transplant. Second type of transplant is the Transplant after dialysis. Sometimes patients they do not come on the time or they don't want to go for transplantation and they become symptomatic or uh, they develop loss of appetite or vomiting or other problem, breathing problem. Then they need to be started on dialysis and but the transplant can be done even when the person is on dialysis. So these are the uh, 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 type of transplant. It is obviously better if you do the transplant e before starting the dialysis because that it then uh, uh, you are uh, spared of the uh, procedures and the complication associated with dialysis. So is there a way that one can avoid reaching the stage where one has to go through a process of kidney transplant? See not in all patients. Uh, so again we coming to the important thing. The most common cause of diabetes, India uh, has 10% uh, patients, people in India have diabetes. So the, the population of 20-25% has hypertension. So these are the major causes of the kidney dysfunction or kidney failure. So one, if one take care of sugar and hypertension and the other diseases which can cause kidney failure, early in their course, most of the time, many times we can avoid developing kidney dysfunction and kidney failure. If they have protein in the urine, they uh, take the treatment on time, diagnosis is made on time, then many of these patients can be prevented uh, from developing kidney failure. But once the kidney disease occurs, means once the chronic kidney disease occurs and your creatinine value becomes more than 1.5 to 2, then you can only slow the progression of the disease. But nowadays there are good treatment is available when you can slow these diseases for many, many years. Those who take the treatment properly, they understand the nature of the disease. Their kidney can work for many, many years before they will need a dialysis or transplant. So, so it is important because sometimes people, they want to just hear one thing, whether this kidney disease will recover and the uh, kidney function will normalize and people sometime nowadays there's a lot of fraud going on the internet and everywhere and they promise the reversal and what actually happens these people they they damage their kidney very early and the kidney which could have worked for 10 years or 15 years and they develop kidney failure in one or two years because of the wrong treatment wrong diagnosis and, and, and these all these things. So, so it is yes possible in many patients but not in all.